Good evening, everyone. I'd like to welcome you to the Urbana City Council meeting. It's Monday, July 25th, 2022. Will the clerk please, call, I'd like to call this meeting to order and will the clerk please call the roll. Ms. Wu. Here. Mr. Evans. Here. Ms. Hersey. Ms. Colasetti. Here. Ms. Bishop. Here. Ms. Wilkin. Here. Mr. Quisenberry. Mayor Marlin. Here. Next item is approval of minutes from the July 11th meeting, and we had, uh, you should have received via email, the uh, updated minutes. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Is there a second? I'll second. Moved by Mary Alice, seconded by Jaya. Any substantial corrections? All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed, same sign. That motion carries. Next is additions to the agenda. I don't believe there are any. Next up is public input. If anyone wishes to address the Urbana City Council, please step up to the microphone. State your name for the record. My, my name is Wendy Bartlow, and I'm the assistant director on the, at the Center on Health, Aging, and Disability at the University of Illinois. And we coordinate the effort Age-Friendly Champaign-Urbana and manage the membership of the cities of Urbana and Champaign in the AARP's network of age-friendly cities. Um, this is an AARP program designed to make cities more livable for people of all ages, but with a, uh, a specific focus on older adults. Um, your, re your city is represented by Chris Diana, who's joined me here tonight, and we are here to present you with this, uh, sort of, it's a plaque from the AARP uh, to recognize that you as a city are a member of good, in good standing, and thank you for all of your work to make this city more livable for people of all ages and make it a good place for older adults. And this will be displayed at the, on the table in the lobby. Thank you very much. Go ahead. Good evening, Council. I'm Andy Stewart. I am uh, the person chosen to represent our firemen. I was elected back in January. I wanted to go through uh, our negotiations. I know you got a packet in front of you. I wanted to express um, how good it was to work with the team the city put together. Uh, we, there were relationships prior. We came in uh, with these, uh, continuing to build these relationships. And what a great um, negotiation we had. Uh, we entered into a little IBB or interest-based uh, negotiations as well, which is newer for us. I know they did it a little bit in the last one too, but we were able to sit with the city and labor both and have uh, not, not a problem, but here's what we want to tackle uh, thing. And we were able to work together uh, through a lot of this contract. So I wanted to give a thanks uh, for uh, the city side of that. Uh, it was a great experience. Uh, we worked well together. And even though we disagree on a lot of stuff, it was such a professional group of, of, of folks that we worked with. So I wanted to say thank you, and our memberships thank you all as well. Thank you, Andy. Does anyone else wish to address the Urbana City Council? Okay. We'll move on to council input and communications. Any comments from council? Okay, uh, there is no unfinished business. Reports of standing committees. Um, Committee of the Whole ch Chairperson, Mary Alice Wu. On behalf of the Committee of the Whole, I move resolution number 2022-07058R, resolution approving a collective bargaining agreement with the International Association of Firefighters, Local 1147, for a term of July 1st, 2022, through June 30th, 2028, for approval. Is there a second? A second. Moved by Mary Alice, seconded by Sharice. Any discussion? Chris? Um, yeah, just one thing. Uh, 
for the taxpayers to understand that tonight, uh, if this is approved, which I think it will, um, it will represent a 19.2% increase uh, in salaries for the firefighters over six years. Uh, and just wanted to let the taxpayers know that's what's happening. Any other discussion? Grace. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry to have to have missed the committee meeting last week, so I just wanted to share a few thoughts tonight. Um, that first of all, thank you to the department for those coming tonight, and even more importantly, for the you know, vital and life-saving services that the department provides. Um, and also wanted to recognize um, the efforts with city staff in carrying out like the gender-neutral language changes that was part of our um, resolutions and the collaboration with the union that I've heard from the city and nice to hear from the union itself tonight also, um, and also the communication with council. It felt like this was um, a much more informed collaborative kind of process and I really appreciate that. Um, and then just a few things I asked questions over emails and just wanted to share here publicly. Um, I had just some clarifying questions about the memo and the financial impacts. Um, I was at first confused because it made it seem like the wage increases over the six year contract were more than twice that of two three year contracts and got some clarity that in the end um, it's the same as two three year contracts at three percent so just wanted to clarify that for the public that um, it's just the way of classifying it but in the end it's the same to the city um, and then another one i just wanted to confirm and i'm open to any um objections if this is not the correct understanding um, but things we had talked about i know michelle's not here tonight but when we had talked about this in the past um, she had confirmed that um, this contract in its stability keeping operational stability also still allows for some flexibility and operational changes if there were something like the new fire station also incorporates other services um, that that would also be allowed under different things and that there's a process for some operational flexibility and if anyone wanted to confirm or deny that, but I wanted to reiterate that publicly as well, if that was the case. Yeah, I, I think if something came up that we needed to discuss with the union, they're always happy to discuss with us. And um, if necessary, we could potentially enter into a memorandum of understanding to revise the language in the contract. Thank you. Okay. Any other comments? Will the clerk please call the well? I would one. I would like to say one last thing, and that is to thank everyone involved with these negotiations. This is a s historic six-year contract, which provides certainty to both management and employees, and and that's a good thing. And especially the uh, union recognized the union's bargaining team, which includes Andy Stewart, Mike Janish, Austin Upton, Calvin Kearns, Jake Hutchcraft, Jason Rushing, Josh Fitzsimmons, and Chad Johnson. And then from the city's uh, administrative side, Michelle Brooks, Demond Dade, Kyle Hench, Femi, Femi Fletcher, and Shannon Clark. This contract is the result of many, many hours of meetings and very productive conversations, and I appreciate the efforts on all sides. So, will the clerk please call the roll? Ms. Wu? Yes. Mr. Evans? Yes. Ms. Hersey? Yes. Ms. Colasetti? Yes. Ms. Bishop? Yes. Ms. Wilkin? Yes. That motion passes. Thank you all. Congratulations. <laughs> Reports of special committees. I don't believe there are any. Reports of officers. There are none. There's no new business. And with no further business before this body, this meeting is adjourned. Thank you. Okay.